This is I'm Stark, and this video we are looking at motion under forces. So the first question we have is that a particle of mass 1 kg moves under the action of three forces. So we have 5i, 2i minus 3j, and minus 3i plus 5j. So showing you're working, you have to first work out the magnitude of its acceleration. And this is using the idea of F equals ma. But first of all, we know what m is. A, we're trying to find out. So we need to work out what F is, and that's from using these three forces. So it has these three forces. Now, in the first one, what we've got is we have five horizontally and then zero vertically. In the second one, what we have is two horizontally minus three vertically. And then finally, what we have is minus three horizontally and five vertically. Now that is going to be equal to ma. m is 1, so that means it's just equal to a. So therefore, a is going to be equal to 5 plus 2 minus 3, which is going to be 4. And then it's also going to be minus 3 plus 5, which is 2. So a is that. So I finished though. As it says the magnitude, so doing the magnitude of a, what we're going to get is that is equal to 4 squared Pythagoras root of 4 squared plus 2 squared, which is equal to 2 root 5 meters per second squared. Then in B, it asks us to find the angle between its acceleration vector and the i direction. So to, to draw a triangle showing what it is, we've got a 4 going there, we've got 2 going up, then we've got that. We're trying to work out this angle here, so that means that therefore we'll do tan, inverse tan. And we've got then 2 over 4 half, which is going to be equal to 26.57 degrees. So the next question has slightly more going on in it. It is the diagram shows a particle of mass 8 kilograms, which is accelerating horizontally in that direction there at a meters per second squared. So taking g is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared, work out the force t first of all. Now in order to do this, when there is motion in two directions, it's necessary to resolve the forces into the x and y components. Now, in order to do this, what we're going to have here is we're looking at it that far. We're also looking at it up there. For this one here, we're looking at this, that um, i component, and then the j component there. This one is just vertically. So that means that what we can put here is this is adjacent so what we're going to have is t cos 60 for this one here then up that's going to be t sine 60 then this one here again that one's adjacent so what we're going to have is 30 cos 40 and that's horizontally and then vertically we're going to have 30 sine 40. Now it says that it's accelerating horizontally that direction there. That means that the vertical forces are going to be equal to zero. And that is how we're going to first of all work out what t is. So in A, we know that the vertical forces are equal to zero. So we have a vertical force there, t sine 60. We also have another vertical force there, 30 sine 40. They're both going up. And then that is going to be equal to the forces going downwards. Now, in this case, that is 8g, which if we use the 9.81, um, as they've said to do there, what we're going to get is 59.196. So therefore, we know that t sine 60 now 
is going to be 59.196 minus 30 sine 40. Uh, that means that t sine 60 is going to be equal to 59, 59.196 uh, newtons. And then t, well, that's going to be 59.196 divided by sine 60. t is going to be 68.4 newtons. So now we have to work out the value A. Uh, again, this will be using F equals MA. Um, and we're going to be looking at all the forces going in this direction minus the horizontal forces going in that direction. Um, so that means that what we have is T cos 60, uh, which is going to be 68.4 cos 60. That's going to be minus... 30 cos 40, because that's going in the other direction. And remember, acceleration in this case, the positive direction is that way there. Um, and that is going to be equal to MA, so we've got 8A. Therefore, what we have is 11.2 is equal to 8A. So A is going to be equal to 1.4 meters per second squared. So the final question we have here says that a ship of mass 800 tons is towed from rest by two tugs. So the first exerts a force of 50 kilonewtons on a bearing of 0.20 and the second force of 70 kilonewtons on a bearing of 100 degrees. So the resistance of the water is a force of magnitude 20 kilonewtons. Work out the distance travelled by the ship in the first 20 seconds. First of all, for a question like this, always good to do a diagram of what's going on. So we have a ship here. I'm not going to make it look like a ship, just going to be a, a, a square, a rectangle box. Uh, and that's going to be 800,000 kilograms, because 800 tonnes is just 800,000 kilograms. Then the forces we have, we have one on a bearing of 20, uh, and that's going to be, that's 20 there, um, and that is 50, so we've got 50,000 newtons going there, and we'll resolve that in a second. And then we've also got another one on a bearing of 100, so this is 90 here, so 100 is going to be like that, um, we've got 10 degrees there. Um, and that means that this one on is going to be 70,000 uh, newtons. We also have, it's not exactly, it doesn't say where it's acting, but we'll just put resistance there of 20,000. But that isn't necessarily acting horizontally. So don't think that and take that away. So therefore, now we're going to resolve them. Uh, so we've got going up here, we've got a 20 there got 50,000 there, that's going to be the adjacent one, so that means that that's going to be 50,000 cos 20. And then going across horizontally there, we're going to get 50,000 sine 20. Like that. Then on this one here, that's the adjacent one there. So this time, horizontally, what we're going to get is 70,000 cos 10. And then vertically, we're going to get 70,000 sine 10. So we have that. Now we need to look at it going horizontally. What is the forces acting horizontally? Remember, this force here, we're not going to count as either horizontal or vertical as yet. And we'll see why in a second. So therefore, horizontally, what we're going to have is we're going to have 50,000. So we put H there. And we're going to have 50,000 sine 20. And that will be plus 70,000 cos 10. 
that then is going to be equal to 86,037.5. That's the one decimal place, but store that in your calculator as what it is. Then V, now vertically, we're looking at this one up here, so 50,000 cos 20. That's going to be minus the one coming down here, which is 70,000. Um, and that's sine 10. That's because it's acting in the opposite direction. Uh, and that is going to be equal to 34,829.26. So now we have that. We're going to be putting that into Pythagoras' theorem. Uh, to find out its magnitude because remember we've got the 2 going there and it doesn't say which ways it's accelerating so we've got 86,037.5 squared uh, plus 34,829.26 um, squared do that we're going to get 92,819.92. But now we've got to remember that we've got this resistant force here of 20,000 newtons. So therefore, we're going to have this 92,819.92 minus 20,000. That is equal to 72,820. And that is just rounded to four significant figures. Um, but that means that we have that, um, and we have to do now F equals MA, because we're looking for the acceleration, um, which means that our acceleration, so F is 72,000, 820 is equal to 800,000 A so therefore A is equal to 0 0.091 meters per second squared but unfortunately, we're still not finished now, as we just have to do one final thing to work out the distance travelled by the ship in the first 20 seconds. So therefore, we're going to have to use a SUV equation over here. Um, and that's why we've had to find out the acceleration. So we've got the S, that's what we're trying to, uh, trying to find, we're trying to find that distance. Uh, the U, now that is going to be a zero, because it's towed from rest says there, toad from rest. Um, v, uh, do not know that, and we don't need to know that. The A, that is going to be what we just worked out, 0 0.091. And then time, that's 20 seconds. So therefore, we're going to be using S is equal to UT plus half AT squared. So S is therefore equal to zero plus half and times by 0 0.091 times by 400. And that is equal to 18.2 meters. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.